caught this little guy stealing insulation, but caught the strong word since he uh, completely got away with his loot. Anyway, in this video, we're going to go ahead and finish up building the floor and get the walls up to about three and a half feet, get the garage up to about five feet, and then go ahead and pour the first pour. I would have done it all in one pour, but the back corner is about, I think it's about 18 feet from the footing to the top of the wall. And that seems like a little far to drop concrete. I don't know, there's a lot of discussion about it. But you can see here, there's the garage to the right, and there's the BCIs and the squish blocks and everything's all in. And now we're going to go ahead and sheet it and take it on up. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I make my corner here. going to place the corner. We have short edge going this way, long edge going this way, so we will reverse it every other course, line everything up. Now, you know, first when I saw him using the hammer, I thought they're just beating on it. They're going to mess these things up. And then I got a hammer because my hands were getting tired. And sure enough, they only hit right here where the plastic strips are. So there's no, there's nothing getting beat up. Look at that. Piece of cake. So one of the things I've been hearing is the Dura forums are very hard to cut because they have metal in them. So far I found that to be completely not true. Let me give you an example. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and cut out this window seal. not cut through one piece of metal so the people that complain that seems to be the biggest complaint is how difficult it is <coughs> to rip one of these forms but I can do it with the sawzall I can do it with the skill saw I can do it with the jigsaw I can probably set it and do it with the table saw don't know why I do that though but anyway there you go that's how easy it is to cut that rip upon closer examination there actually is a little piece of metal in there it's the hinge, but it's such a tiny piece of metal that I didn't even realize it was there until I looked really, really close. Most of the work that I've been doing, well, you can see the vertical sticking up there. This, are, this is our bedroom right here. These two windows go on either side of our bed. The head of the bed is obviously in between the two windows. And then we have one great big window that looks out at the um, woods. 
This door right here is our entryway. So this will basically be our front door. What I've been doing tonight is getting that all buttoned up so that the insulation's in there and wood is tar papered. This window and that window are the den. I'm gonna put together a corner here. And the corners come fold it over. Rubber band right here. a Nuvera, Nudura completely reversible corner all ready to go so now we're gonna go ahead and pour just kind of let the movie run here a little bit you can see the pump truck my wife likes to get these uh, shots that go way up in the air catch the top of the trees and stuff actually i think they're pretty cool too it always amazes me how that guy can just operate that boom and he does a really good job keeps it right where it's supposed to be my neighbors came over you can't see the guy vibrating but he's got the sasa and he's on the outside down below because right now we're pouring up uh, what is it it's one two three courses so that would be three four and a half feet up to the floor and so he's down on the outside vibrating as we go now you can see he's vibrating the window but or the door bucks right there just take the uh take the blade out of the sawzall and you make sure that you get it on the forms when you do it on the uh, strip so that it vibrates that vibrates all the way through and it shakes the rebar that's on the inside gets the uh, rebar all well and contacted <clears throat> and this uh, took us I think probably about I'm gonna guess two and a half hours to pour it, it was uh, 34 yards of concrete so it wasn't a cheap bill and we're getting ready here probably in the next I would say two weeks or so I'll be ready to uh, pour the top out my videos are not keeping up with progress but gonna figure out how to do that I'm gonna work on the videos in the mornings I always think I'm going to work on them in the evenings and that doesn't work. <coughs> we love our view out the back here. That uh, opening you see there will be our French doors and we'll have a nice little patio. The sun sets to the west so this would be facing west. Duh. And um, it's very very pretty sunsets very nice evenings we hope to enjoy a lot of sipping some wine and watching the Sun go down but we're almost done one more quick look here at the boom and we'll be doing a little consolidating here with the Sazo? Well, I hope you enjoyed the video here with the progress. So look off towards the uh, San Juan Islands. Beautiful, sunny, would-be fall day. And hope everybody's well. And this will be Stinging Nettle Farms. Signing out. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. 
and share with your friends.